Resting Pain Index needs no new introduction in relation to the work that we do. And my climb toward its summit began with a small creature known as the harvester ant. This experiment into what happens from an onslaught of stings opened the door to a world of pain that I would attempt to endure in the name of education and science. Ah, oh, that was one on my neck. Mario, get the one off my neck. If you were watching this video, there is a good chance you remember the velvet ant. Also known as a cow killer, this wingless wasp is famous for having the largest stinger in the insect kingdom. A sting from that creature was intense, but it didn't end there. This is the worst sting I've ever taken. Oh my gosh, guys, this is super bad. The tarantula hawk delivered as promised, with a tidal wave of pain that literally put my arm into a state of paralysis. John, get me my arm! And finally came the moment that the world had been waiting for, the one and only bullet ant. Ranked as having the most painful sting in the insect kingdom, it seemed as if I had conquered the sting pain index mountain. Oh, the stinger stuck in my arm, look at that! I had reached the summit. I had done it. Or had I? Whispers began to drift amongst the YouTube comment section. And questions began to arise as to whether or not the bullet ant was truly the king of sting. Oh, it's burning more! It's getting worse! Hold on, hold on, hold on! These whispers turned into a haunting echo. What about the warrior wasp? Coyote, have you heard about the warrior wasp? Are you going to be stung by the warrior wasp? Warrior wasp, warrior wasp, warrior wasp. That is an enormous nest of angry warrior wasps. Man, they're a lot higher up there than I thought. This is gonna definitely be tough. Let me look again. Double check. Yep, those are warrior wasps. 100%. And that nest is so big, there are probably thousands of them in there, all inside the walls. All it takes is a little disturbance for them to literally spill out and swarm like mad. And they're incredibly fast, much faster than your typical paper wasp. The local expert that tipped us off to this field where he said, yeah, I've seen warrior wasps there before, actually at one point threw a rock through a nest. And I was told that they spilled out of the nest so fast, he barely even had time to think about running, let alone making an escape to try to get to his vehicle. And in the process, he was stung multiple times and had to go to the hospital. We do know they are incredibly fast and incredibly aggressive. So for Mark and Mario, we're gonna actually set up a mosquito net here underneath the overhang of this tree. Now that will hopefully keep you guys safe and out of the sting zone, because as we know, the sting zone goal with this is simply on my forearm, not all over our bodies. I'm gonna be wearing a bee suit, so hopefully that will protect me as I go in to extract one of these ornery little insects. And with any luck, we're gonna get one up close for the cameras. Known as one of the most aggressive paper wasp species in the world, these beautiful insects carry the warrior moniker from their commitment to attacking anything that disturbs their nest. However, very few people have ever been stung by one of these insects because unlike normal paper wasp species, they often build their massive nests high up in the trees of the central and South American rainforests, a place where humans virtually never encounter them. Let's go catch a warrior wasp. All right, guys, I think I'm ready. Let's get you tucked underneath the uh, net here. Now, in the event that I am swarmed, it is best for you guys to just stay completely put and underneath this. Wrap yourselves up as tight as you can. There's a good chance they're not gonna get through there. It's a mosquito net, so all the webbing is very tightly wound. Yeah. So nothing can really get through this, but still, it's gonna be a pretty nerve wracking experience if this thing gets swarmed by the most painful stinging wasp in the world. All right. Are you guys ready? Ready. All right, guys, I am now going to slowly approach the nest. And the goal is going to be to just hold the net up in the air and see if I can get wasps to actually come to the net. If I am swarmed, it is gonna be one incredibly bad situation. I'm very close now. We're all down on the low end. Oh, starting to swarm around me. 
There are a couple moving around me left and right. My tactic was simple. Coax a single wasp from the nest using my extendable GoPro arm, and then quickly swipe it up using my entomology net. This was primed to be one of the most dangerous animal catches I had ever attempted, as disturbing the nest could literally mean thousands of these fearless warriors swarming me and the crew. Okay, I'm going to cut this handheld camera and go for a catch. Here we go. Got one. Definitely got one. A big one too. Woo! Holy cow, that totally worked. Okay, there it is, right there in the net. You see it? Yeah. And what I did is I just provoked one off the edge with the aquapod and got it right into the net. Check that out. Wow. Okay, now this is the difficult part. I need to safely get it out of the net and into the capsule. Give me one second here. Oh man, my arm is shaking. That was the most perfect swipe I could have possibly attempted. Nothing got scared. It was wasp on the edge of the net. I just poked it with the aquapod. It came off whew, one swipe and I had it. Hold on a second. Yes, there it is. Wow, there you have it. That is the warrior wasp. Oh my gosh. That is a large wasp. Wow, uh, I was excited to catch it. Now I realize I have just sealed my fate. That is crazy. <sighs> Look at the abdomen on that creature. Well, part one of this mission is in the capsule. Part two is to get me stung. Ah, I have a feeling this may be just as bad as the bullet. Just based on the knowledge that these are extremely aggressive, I have a feeling that the sting is going to be unbelievably painful, but I am mentally prepared to take this sting. And I know that this is the moment that everybody's been waiting for. We thought that I had climbed the insect sting pain index and reached the summit, and that was it. The bullet ant was it. But of course, we all knew that we teased the warrior wasp at the end of that episode. And ever since, you guys have been asking for it. So today, Coyote Peterson, is going to deliver. Here we go. There it is. That is a warrior wasp. Now the ultimate question that we are answering today is, will the warrior wasp's sting be more painful than the bullet ant. Ah, I have to just sit back for a second and admire this creature. How can something only that big, about an inch in length, possibly contain such a potent sting? Look at that iridescent blue coloration on the wings and its abdomen almost looks as if it's covered in velvet. You'll notice the body structure of this wasp is very distinct. Of course, it has the head, it has a thorax, and then a very, very narrow space between its thorax and its abdomen. Now, one thing that I did notice when we saw these out flying around the nest is when they fly, they actually turn their abdomens upwards to a point in the air, very different looking than other wasp species that we see flying around. Now, what's interesting is that this thing looks like a warrior, and when all of them are together and they're on the outside of the hive, what they will do to ward off anything that's thinking about getting into the hive is they will go boom, 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 boom. And sometimes they are actually called drumming wasps because they beat their wings together all in unison, and that's where they get the name warrior wasp. It sounds like soldiers marching. So when I look at this creature and its fierce appearance, it definitely reminds me of one determined warrior. 
And you know, the other thing that's real interesting about these wasps is they have massive front mandibles. Now, this is a species that will kill caterpillars and bring them back to feed their young, but they mostly feed on nectars and sugars. So this is not a creature that's out there hunting for itself, only hunting for its young, but those front mandibles I could easily see would be used to decapitate or kill something like a caterpillar or a grub. Oh, it's an intimidating face on that creature. Almost looks like the face of the bullet ant, uh, but of course it has wings and uh, a slightly different body structure. This is the only time I have ever seen a blue wasp. Look at that. Now, just like we did with the tarantula hawk, the way to get this animal to sting me is we're gonna actually place the glass capsule inside of this net. And I'm gonna take off the glass top, let the net fall down on top of the insect, and I'm going to pick it up with these entomology forceps. I think you guys all know the game plan from there. Coyote's arm goes down on the table, the insect touches my forearm, and a sting is induced. Now, of course, for safety, we always have an epinephrine pen on set, just in case anybody's wondering. I'm gonna just place this off to the side at this point. And if you guys are ready, let's get the warrior wasp into the net. Mark, are you all set? I'm all set. What happens if the wasp gets aggressive and flies at us? Ooh, that's a great question, because I will tell you what, this is one fast insect. Now, when I am stung, as always, I'm gonna try to get the glass capsule back over top. If I do not, and the wasp flies off, just hold your ground for a second. Good chances, it just wants to escape, and it's not gonna come after you guys. But if you are stung, I'm pretty much just gonna turn the cameras around and film you guys to see what happens. <laughs> Uh, let's not do that today. Let's hope that doesn't happen. Yeah. Well, so far I've managed to get every one of these stinging insects back inside the glass capsule so that we can safely release it back into the wild right where it came from. And with any luck, we'll be able to pull that off again once more today. Let's keep that streak alive, please. Yes, yes. For you guys' sake, let's definitely keep it alive. Mario, are you ready? Ready. Mark, are you ready? I'm ready, if you're ready. All right, I am going to slide the warrior wasp off to the side. You stay there, buddy. And I'm going to place the net right in the middle of the table. Uh, just like I did with the tarantula hawk, I'm then going to replace the capsule right there. And I'm going to lift up the net. See that? Good, you guys got that shot? Yep. I'm now going to remove glass capsule and let the wasp That's a little delicate procedure oh okay the wasp is in the net I'm gonna gently pin it and I need to grab it right at the back of its thorax got it perfect hold yes okay wow there we have it okay I'm gonna have to do this quick and that is about as good a hold as I am going to get. Oh, I just need a stinger. Whoa, look at that stinger. I'm Coyote Peterson, and I'm about to enter the sting zone with the warrior wasp. Here we go. One, two. Swallowing up really, really quickly. Ugh. Hold on, back to the table, back to the table. Okay, so what is happening right now is the venom is getting into my bloodstream, right? 
And what's happening is it is breaking down the membranes around my blood cells and it's causing them to scatter. Now there are cells in there that are neurons, right? Those neurons are sending messages to my brain that are screaming pain, pain, pain. And trust me when I say there's massive amounts of pain going through my arm right now. Mm. Initial onset is not as bad as the bullet hand, but it's an electrical shock similar to that of the tarantula hawk. <sighs> Hold on, let me compose myself here for a second. Uh, 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 oh my gosh, the pain is actually getting worse as time goes on. And I don't know if that's actually the venom taking hold or that's just the neurons firing to my brain saying, you are in a lot of pain right now, Coyote. Hold on guys, give me a second. Uh, can you see the red? seem more squirmy. Uh, like you can't sit still. This is this is more of a continuous sting than the bullet ant was. This is this is this keeps firing. This just keeps firing. Cut this GoPro. Oh. lightheaded you know you when you get into a really hot shower and the steam sets on you feel like you're gonna faint I do feel like I'm getting close to fainting and that is not good I'm just trying to control my breathing ah look at that welt man yeah, you can definitely that thing it. walloped me I can only imagine what it would be like to be swarmed by these just a single sting dwarfs the sting of a yellow jacket. The initial sting was not as painful as the tarantula hawk, but then it set in and it was electrical in nature. It felt like an electrical current going into my arm. And I, you know, I was over here, I was hitting the ground saying, it's not as bad as the bullet ant, but in its own way, it's different because the bullet ant hit me and then just kept radiating. This feels like I'm being stung over and over and over. It's really slow. It usually don't swell that quickly. Look at that. Go ahead, uh, put your hand out. Feel the tautness of my forearm. Oh yeah. And you can see. Oh yeah, big time. Stinger insertion point is definitely swollen. It is very much isolated. It almost looks like a little BB or something underneath my skin. Like a, that's, you know, you're reacting more like you did with the bees with that, the immediate welt. You know, my body may start to react differently to venoms. At this point, I'm just feeling really lightheaded, very hot, my arm is very hot, and not necessarily like a state of paralysis like the tarantula hawk, but my- Any tightness in your chest or? Not my chest, tightness in my hand. Like this motion, squeezing of my hand is very, very difficult right now. Really having a hard time squeezing down a fist. You can see the swelling setting in there. It does still feel like pins and needles in my arm, but I know that everybody wants me to answer the question. Is the sting from the warrior wasp more painful than the bullet ant? I would definitely say that the bullet ant is worse. However, keep this in mind. If you come across a bullet ant while you're out there venturing through the rainforest of Costa Rica, let's say one lands on your arm, falls out of a tree and stings you, you can easily brush it off. However, if you stumble upon a nest of warrior wasps and you disturb it, you're going to have thousands of angry insects attacking you. And not only are they going to be attacking, but they are going to be chasing as you run through the underbrush. Now, I imagine if you were to take sting after sting after sting, it could potentially be lethal. So word to the wise, if you're out there in the rainforest of Costa Rica, simply admire these animals from a safe distance and always pay attention to your surroundings. I'm Coyote Peterson. Be brave. Stay wild. We'll see you on the next adventure. Hey, wait a second. <laughs> I feel like we're missing something. What? Uh, your famous lines. Oh, did, you didn't notice my t-shirt? Oh. I've been wearing this all day, man. Cool. Check it out. I read the comments, guys.
As I hiked back through the sweltering rainforest, I could feel the physical and mental exhaustion setting in. Yet I knew there was still one thing left to do. All right, guys, well, my arm is in considerable pain right now, but as always, it is time to release the creature back into the wild. So what I'm gonna do is open up the capsule and let this warrior wasp fly right back up to its nest. Slowly opening the capsule, I released this fearless warrior and watched as it returned to the nest. I felt a sense of completion. My personal mountain, known as the Insect Sting Pain Index, had finally been conquered. It was a long and painful journey, but as I climbed past the cow killer, traversed the tarantula hawk, battled the bullet ant, and now withstood the warrior wasp, I felt as if I had finally reached the summit. However, as I stood upon this moment in time, it seemed to pass in a flash, as I was quickly reminded that the universe will always present its next challenge when you least expect it. All right, guys, so we have looked up Vespid wasps of Latin America, and I have found out what this is. Just after we finished filming the warrior wasp, we came upon a species whose sting had yet to be officially documented and ranked on the insect sting pain index. Could this sleeping giant be the dark horse that would emerge from the shadows to claim the throne as the newly established king of sting? There is only one way to find out. I'm going to be stung by the executioner wasp. If you are excited to see how bad the sting of the Executioner Wasp is, make sure to go back and pay homage to the reigning king of sting, Bullet Ant. And don't forget, subscribe so you can join me and the crew on this season of Breaking Trail. Oh my gosh, this is it.